Hello Virgo, thank you very much for watching. For this segment I'm using the Morgan Greer Tarot for the main read. It's by Paul Foster Case and Arthur Edward Waite. And for the support cards, the Magical Spell Cards by Lucy Cavendish, which I use a lot of. Well, it doesn't matter, okay. There's a vehicle coming up the hill, the hill, and it's distracting me. Sorry. Okay. So going into this time, Virgo, I don't know if you can hear that, but there's an obnoxious vehicle coming up the hill. There we go, and they're gone. Okay. Sorry, it just kind of distracted me for a second. <laughs> it just it was like coming up on me. Um. Going into this time frame, I wonder if that's like a part of this too, because like the more I hear that sound, I feel like there's a slight aggravation, and it's just trying to go along with things, but really being a little bit aggravated. So I'm wondering if this is going to connect with your reading, because I'm feeling like you want to get along, and you're trying to deal with things, but something seems to be aggravating you, which we do have the devil on the other side like the other set party here, the devil cards coming through. Um, I feel as you go into this, interestingly enough, I feel like you're communicating and you're trying to talk, but you're not talking about what's getting on your nerves. You're trying not to play into certain situations. I feel like there's, I, I'm, I'm still feeling the aggravation. I don't think it's that. I think that's part of this read. Something's aggravating you. You're just trying to go along. And I feel like you're kind of, giving off cues that you're not pleased with it, but you're trying to keep yourself above water in an emotional sense and just you're trying not to <clears throat> get involved or engage in a certain situation, but I feel like almost passive aggressively you kinda are. Uh, just like you're not trying to like directly cause an argument, but I feel like you're still venting, like you're still saying how you feel and you're still kind of like showing some dis dislike of the situation. Okay. I do feel like you prefer to get along, and, you, and you're trying to get along. You're doing your best to not do that. I feel like you're really trying to not do that, but something is really just like, you're just kind of like, ugh. All right. And I feel like you're like walking into this, like, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to get along, and we're just going to, I'm not, it's not my issue to deal with, so I'm just going to, I'll be fine. But it's, you still like, you still express how you feel, because I feel like you can't help yourself. Um, but you're tr really trying to not. That's what it's coming through as. Um, you're trying to also, I feel like, put things in order. I'm getting something else here. with it. When you're trying to not say how you feel and trying to rise above it in a sense, I feel like this other side is pushing at you. I feel like they're kind of... There's something going on on that, that side, and they're trying to get at you. And I feel like they're creatively trying to do so, too. you got the devil and the creative card here, and I feel like they're trying to kind of mess with you a little bit. So this is, I think, why this is hard for you not to passively aggressive. Like, you're trying to directly not say what's ticking you off, but the fact that they're edging at you and pushing at you and trying to push your buttons, like, they're getting some success with that, just a little. And, like, you're saying how you feel, and you're just putting it out there in a... You're trying not to be too direct, but you're, I feel like you're coming across like how you really feel about the situation. Um, I just don't know what the goal is of the devil card here. Like, I'm not feeling like there's a goal to this. I just feel like they're, it's just a jerk moment. It's kind of what I'm feeling. I'm like, I don't know if there's really a goal or there's just being just a jerk moment. And again, I hear that sound. There's nothing out there, but I hear that sound. 
I almost feel like that's like I feel like that energy that's coming by my window here. I'm hearing it, but it's not. I don't see anything, so I don't know if it's just down the road a bit. But I feel like that's kind of how it is. It's just const It's just there aggravating you, and you're just you kind of want to go over there and deal with it, but you're just like you know what? Where's that gonna get me? Where's that gonna get me? So you're. I feel like you're really strong and holding back going right into it and dealing with it, but you're still able, I feel like you can't help but like give off how you really feel about it. Like that's aggravating me. Kind of the same thing. <laughs> like that's getting on my nerves. Um, I love the country, like why are there people hanging outside? I don't get it. But anyway, um, I don't know if it's a plane, maybe it's a plane going by, I don't know. Let's continue here. The central part of the issue is you are working at the seven of coins, putting in the effort. You're seeing this working to your benefit by keeping it together. So you're doing your best to do so. And I feel like you are succeeding with that. See, I feel like you are really, you're, into, you're not into this drama. And I feel like this person, whatever they're doing... Like, I feel like, I just feel like they're just having a moment here. I'm not getting, like, what type of person they really are, but they're having a jerk moment. I just feel like it's a jerk moment. But you're not, I don't feel like you're directly addressing it because you're like, it's not going to get me anywhere. And you're just trying to look at the situation as a whole. This person affects other things around you. It does. This person is affecting other things around you. And I'm wondering, for some of you, I think it's a work thing, where there's just this person, they're just being a jerk. They're just being a jerk, and you're not falling for it. Um, I also feel like this is, like, I feel like this is not the first time they did that, and I feel like that's what we're talking with with the Six of Cups. This is not the first time they've done this. And you're not the first person they've done it to, either. Okay. But the way you're handling this, I feel like you're, you're, there's a lot of strength and you're being seen that way for holding together the way you should, well, the way you feel you should. I almost feel like telling that person, I don't know, I'm not going to say anything's right or wrong here, but I feel like the way you're handling it works to your benefit and it works out for you. Let's do that. Um, and I feel like once this, once this situation with this person works through, like, Whatever that jerk moment was, once you move past it, not only are you seen in a very positive light, but I feel like you're very proud of yourself, rightfully so. I feel like you're looking back and you're just like, you know what? I didn't make it any worse. They were having a jerk moment. I didn't play in. I didn't make it any worse. And things worked out fine for me. Um, I feel like you're walking away with a lot of strength and wisdom. Like, literally, this card is wisdom. But the card next to it is also um, the Eight of Cups, which right below it is the Chariot, which tells me that like you are taking strength from this, you are taking knowledge from this. I feel like this is, I feel like there's some other offshoot for you. Like, socially, this worked to your benefit. Like, this is an accolade towards you. This is a kudos for you. This is like um, money in the purse for you, in the sense of like, how you're seen for handling this situation, it, it goes out farther. Like, in the future, I feel like this is going to be looked back upon about what the other person did and how you handled it, and it goes to your credit. It definitely goes to your credit. People are remembering this. Like, even when you said, like, this person was pushing, and the, the fact that you said something, like, I feel like that went to your credit, too, like, because you didn't completely just roll over. You said some things back, but not... Not um, to escalate the situation, but just to address it. And just like, to like, let's set this straight, blah, blah, blah. That type of thing. I don't feel like there's a pain here in the sense of like, um, any like, I don't feel like this like is causing you pain in the sense of like it bothers you or it weighs on your heart. I feel like you're more looking at this like, I handled it the best I could. That person is who that person is. I didn't let it bring me down, and I feel like I feel like you're getting that recognition in some sense, or you feel like people are looking at you in a positive light because of the way you handled it, and it's working out to your benefit. Now, the, the, the outside influence when it starts here is the Devil card. 
this is that person coming at you or this person with the jerk moment. When we leave the this reading on the um, environmental side, I feel like it transitions to the other the other people around the situation and how you're being. I, I feel like you're being judged very favorably. Uh, I feel like the, there's people being judged all over the place with this situation. Whatever this person did, I feel like it's causing an issue where other people are like looking at it and thinking about this and that, and there's decisions being made because of it. You're being judged very fair, very fairly, very favorably and fairly. I think you would see it as fair because I think you're looked at as a very good person, a very dignified, handled it very well. The other person, I feel like, might be getting the repercussions for what they did as well. Judgment. I feel like judgment is in your favor in this. Okay. But I feel like socially, people are looking at you in a favorable light because of this. All right, so this works out well for you. I very much like that. This one, this, all my readings for this segment so far, they seem like they're going really fast. I don't know if it's I'm talking fast or what, but I think we got to the, the heart of it, though. Your attitude about getting along and trying to do the best you can for everybody involved, I feel like that's a big piece of this, too. I feel like you're not looking at it just in how this is affecting you, but you're thinking about other people around you, and that's another factor here. And you're being recognized for that, too. I think that's another reason why this goes to your benefit so much. Because people feel like you considered their feelings and how it was going to affect them if you like went at it this head-on. So it's very favorable for you. So there's those... The way you handled it and the why you handled it the way you handled it. I feel like it's very apparent you didn't want other people to end up having to deal with repercussions or other to handle certain things because you went at this person and told them exactly what they deserve to hear. You kind of held back. You did what you needed to do. And you made through it. You made it through very strong in a very strong way. I feel like you had the best intentions for everybody. I even think feel like I even feel like you even gave the the person having the jerk moment the benefit of the doubt. Maybe not as much as I might think, but <laughs> it depends on your situation. All right, well, I'm going to end this here because I think we went through all the cards. And, of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, go ahead, shoot me an email, james for astral at gmail.com, james the number four, astral at gmail.com, and I'll send you a list. Thank you very much. You have a good day.